The role of a teacher is to create the conditions for invention rather than provide ready-made knowledge. The principal goal of education in the schools should be creating men and women who are capable of doing things, not simply repeating what other generations have done. The essence of creativity is figuring out how to use what you already know in order to go beyond what you already think. You cannot teach today the same way you did yesterday to prepare students for tomorrow. If we were to combine these constructivist thought leaders' ideas, we could say effective learning is an active process in which the learner takes responsibility for making meaningful connections, and the teacher guides the learner in making those connections through the creation of a significant learning environment. While this constructivist summary of learning is appealing, research and most people's practical experience would confirm this unfortunately doesn't really reflect reality. We proclaim the progressive constructivist rhetoric of Dewey, but in our educational systems, we still use a centuries-old practice of information transfer and standardized testing established by Thorndike. But what if we did more than talk the constructivist talk and actually walk the constructivist walk? What would that look like? It would look like the Applied Digital Learning Program at Lamar University. In the ADL program, we have moved beyond the rhetoric by creating significant learning environments in which we give learners choice, ownership, and voice through authentic learning opportunities. Rather than continue with the rhetoric, we hope the following comparison between the CSLE plus COVA and the information transfer model will help you understand what to expect in a constructivist learning environment. The ADL is all about authentic learning opportunities. Everything you do in the ADL program is something you will do in the real world. Your innovation plan and all that is involved in making your plan work will happen in your organization. With CSLE plus COVA, learners are given the opportunity to select and engage in authentic real-world learning opportunities that enable them to make a genuine difference in their own learning environments and their communities. In contrast with the traditional approach, teachers focus on delivery of the curriculum and strive to cover the required content that students will be tested on. When projects are used, they are most often closely controlled by the teacher and seldom have an authentic or real-world impact. With CSLE plus COVA, learners have the freedom to choose everything. Their learning experiences, their innovation project, platform presentations. Don't worry, learners aren't left on their own. We use guided discovery to provide guidance and help the learner make wise choices through the assessment as learning principles where we help learners to become self-directed learners who can analyze and evaluate their own learning. In contrast, in the traditional model, teachers dictate how students are to perform, organize, structure and present information, and their learning experiences. When teachers do provide a choice, it is often a selection from a predetermined list of options. With CSLE plus COVA, learners are given control and ownership over their entire learning process, including the selection of projects, the ePortfolio process, and their learning tools and resources. In contrast, in the traditional model, teachers have full control over the learning process, the selection of assignments, the tools, and the resources. With CSLE plus COVA, learners use their own voice to structure their work and ideas and share their insights with the real world. In contrast with the traditional model, teachers require students to emulate and replicate predetermined structures. Students share their work with a teacher and if allowed with classmates. With CSLE plus COVA, the ePortfolio is owned by the learner and is used to organize, manage, and share all aspects of the learner's authentic experiences. In contrast, if ePortfolios are used, they are most often assessment focused and students are required to use tools assigned by the teacher to deposit content that only administrators will see. With CSLE plus COVA, the learner's needs are the starting point. The learner is not only an active participant in the learning process, they are required to take control and ownership of their learning. In contrast with the traditional model, students' responsibility is to regurgitate state and teacher-approved content and show that they are able to replicate assignments, examples, and processes. With CSLE plus COVA, the instructor functions as a facilitator, coach, and mentor and is responsible for creating significant learning environments that promote learning. They provide 
the guided discovery, scaffolding, and conceptual framework mapping to facilitate learning. In contrast with the traditional model, the teacher is a presenter of the curriculum, content, processes, and standards, and functions as a gatekeeper to confirm that the students can replicate those standards. With CSLE plus COBA, the learner is encouraged to fail quickly and fail forward in order to accept the fact that errors and error correction are a natural part of learning and growth. In contrast with the traditional model, teachers require students to provide the right answer, and there is little tolerance for errors and failure. With CSLE plus COVA, formative strategies like feedback, feed forward from a trusted mentor, and an emphasis on self-directed learning help the learner to align outcomes with activities and are the key to learner achievement. In contrast with the traditional model, feedback is summative and used to show the student what they got wrong and where they missed the standards. With CSLE plus COVA, because of the diverse nature of authentic learning, rubrics must be flexible enough to allow for analysis of a learner's own deeper learning and allow for a diversity of projects. Satisfying audience needs, solutions to real problems, and effective communication are the key factors to promote creativity. In contrast with the traditional model, rubrics are used as prescriptive checklists that precisely dictate all aspects of the student's assignment and must be very closely aligned to the curriculum standards. These rubrics leave little room for creativity and personal expression. As you can see, there is quite a significant difference between a genuine constructivist environment and the way we do traditional schooling. The traditional model has served us well for the past century. And as we move further into the 21st century, we should note that the problem of information delivery has been solved. We can now move forward into creating significant learning environments where learners are given choice, ownership, and voice through authentic learning opportunities. By doing so, we can finally answer Dewey's challenge. In committing to teaching differently than we taught yesterday's students, we are committing to preparing them for tomorrow.